Hey everyone, Jeremy here from Flatware Creations. Today I'm trying something new to see if my little thingies work, like my intro. Um, please let me know if you heard the sounds of them and um, what, how the rest of the stream seems to be going. Um, today I am going to be making for you a ponytail bun holder. So basically what this does is it allows you to, we're going to bend the spoon and this fork tine is going to just hook into your uh, rubber band or whatever you have scrunchy. This is just going to hang over it. It's just decorative. It's not for anything else. It's just something cool. Um, I had an order for these, so I figured I'd take you along and show you what's going on. Um, some of them we're going to texture with the hammer. Some of them we're going to leave smooth. But I figured I'd get on here and make a live and try out my new tools to see if they work. Um, so I'm going to go through and I'm just going to make one of these because I have a whole stack. And you don't want to go through all that with me. So, hi Gus. <laughs> Just on time. Just on time. Crazy guy. He's been wanting to be on camera all day today. Want to say hi to everybody? Want to say hi? Hi everybody. I'm Gus Gus. Meow. Meow. <laughs> okay, let's get this started. So, here's what I'm going to be using. No, nope, that one. Here's what I'm going to be using. Nope, I want that. I want that. I'm going to be using this rosin core solder. Um, I have the links to everything in the description. Nope, stay down, buddy. Uh, for this one, I'm going to be using a, a rounded tablespoon. Um, it's almost a soup spoon, um, but it's close. And we're going to be using these fork tines. Um, this is the only one I have left from the last time she ordered. Basically, I've taken and I've bent it and I've left a long flat spot here. That long flat spot is um, what's going to allow us to attach and solder this to our spoon. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over here and uh, let's see how did I do these before? <laughs> Uh, okay, let's cut this thing off. Normally, I will go through and... What do I got here? Do I have any dirty ones? I'll take this guy and I'll flatten it out. And then I'll buff it out to get it semi-shiny. Get the most of the tarnish off. And then I'll toss a whole bunch of these in the tumbler. And while they're in the tumbler, um, I don't have to worry about them and I'll get my fork tines made. Now the best fork tines for these are um, the flatter ones. You can use rounded. Um, I try and use the longest ones that I can get. So I go into my scrap pile of fork heads and I'll go in and I'll just cut out a whole bunch of these and start making them. So we already have that. Let's get this guy cut. Let me bring you guys over here. So I'm hoping that my little experimental pieces worked. I'm going to take this down. right to where I can make this rounded. 
Um, and we're just going to pop that off. So this guy will now become probably a ring. Okay. So over to the grinder we go, or not grinder, but the saw, not saw. <laughs> over to the thing that takes metal off. What I've done here is I've tried to make it as round as possible. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit with my Dremel tool. All right. And I was getting my my press here set up to start flattening these guys out um, with the soup spoons. Okay, where's my autofocus? There we go. I want that right there. Autofocus off. With the soup spoons, you want to go down, and I make just a little bit of a dimple, and then I'll go to the front, and then I'll go to the back, and then to the front, and then to the back. Make sure you're keeping the spoon on the block. So we've got a nice flat one. It's got a little bubble in the middle, but we can take that out with the hammer, which is nice. But that's, that's how I get it without any major marks. Okay, so, but we don't need this right now. We need this guy, or is it this one? It's been a while since I've had to make one of these. Come off there. My persuader. Um, I don't need this one anymore. I know that these went in this way. I just can't remember. Yep, that's the one. So I'm getting this in here and I'm gonna bend it with my hammer. I'm trying to hit it right here to get it to kind of make that extra little curve. Same thing with this end. Sends a little bit harder because it's thicker. It looked like it was kind of twisted there for a minute. Um, so we have this now. Let's come over 
to our soldering station. And I have found out that it's easier it's easier to solder onto our uh, our fork here before we actually attach it um, here lighter 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 So we're going to get our torch going. This is just a little micro torch. Using our rosin core solder. We're going to try and put a little. Just a little bit on there. And then we're going to let that cool down. Cool faster. Come on. Oh, I have a bottle of water here somewhere. Here we go. Just lightly spray it. Okay. So here's what we're going to do with this now. We're going to take and clip this into our forceps here. See this little thing right here? This is a little tiny magnet. I love this magnet. I have different sizes to go in here, but I do it because it helps pull, give a little bit more downward pressure to my piece. So flip this around here. So I want this to be flat. I think I'm gonna come down a little bit further. Okay. Now the other thing with this is you don't want you don't want this end of your fork to be over your brett here or your ponytail holder here. You want it to be down in here towards the top but right in the center. So my fork tine bent up on me. I want my bottom to be down. Get rid of this water. Let me see if I can get you down here low enough to be able to see what I'm talking about. I built a new gimbal thingy to try and get you guys as many angles as I can get. Sorry about that if that's making you sick. Okay, so this is the part I'm talking about. We want this down and we want pressure on it. Uh, the downward pressure is going to help it push down where we want it. So again, I'm going to double check it. I want this to be nice and centered. I don't want my tip of this to be over. Everything is pushed down. And now I'm just going to heat up mainly the area that I want the solder to flow. And I've got my, my pick here just to make sure that it goes down where I want it to and doesn't get lifted up. So you can get both sides. You should see the solder start to just flow. So 
the solder's there. Just give a little bit of touch to this. Because we want the solder to go all the way around. So we have a really nice, good adherence to it. that down, give it a little squirt, that's going to help hold our solder in place, and then I've got my little bucket of water down here, just dunk the whole thing. Here's what we're left with. Make sure that's stuck in there, okay. So this is what it looks like from the outside. And then on the inside, you have this little fork tine to hold it in. Sometimes whenever you're doing this, uh, what happens is your fork tine gets uh, kind of turned sideways so it doesn't really uh, fit right or look right. Which one is this? Okay. So here, let's switch this back. Okay. Trying to keep up with uh, all the things I got to do here. It doesn't go crazy. There we go. So take a flat pair or flat pliers. And if you see that this is kind of canted there, just take and make it straight. Just a little bend and that will make it perfectly straight. If you need to, you can also take um, your rounded pliers or any pliers really. Um, we'll just grab some round nose pliers. Just take and grab more towards the tip and you just kind of give that a little downward turn. That's going to help it kind of hook into that band and really lock in place. So we'll pop this up. And we'll see how this looks. And there we go. So this will get tossed in the tumbler, it'll get all that. Uh, all the little extra solder kind of rounded out, smoothed out, and we have one of these hair ties or ponytail holders. So, easy project. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope that the new <laughs> uh, activities, or not activities, but the uh, the new things like this guy and our introduction are working and you guys can hear them um, I'm gonna go back and watch and see if it did work or not um, I hope you guys have a great day